New tonight at 530. We want to talk to you tonight about this concerning report about air quality here in Marion County. Jen Uranovich explains what it means for our health and what's causing the problem. The air we breathe, that most basic human need, is something most of us take for granted. Until, remember last summer? Smoke from wildfires in Canada sent our air quality plummeting. We could see it, we could feel it. That got people realizing, oh, when the air is bad, I feel sick, I have headaches, I'm irritable. But IU professor Gabriel Filippelli, who studies air quality, says Canadian wildfires only made worse a problem we already had. In fact, the latest state of our air report from the American Lung Association ranks Indianapolis 11th most polluted city in the country. Marion County getting a C for ozone pollution and an F for particle pollution. F's not a good grade. I know because I teach here and I hate giving F's. We can't look to Canada for our bad grades. They're actually homegrown. Homegrown from factories and industry. Plus all our cars and trucks and highways at the crossroads of Indiana. Many, 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 many vehicles and diesel trucks and transportation pass through our state every day, leaving behind um, that, un that very unhealthy exhaust. When we had that COVID lockdown, what happened is people weren't driving very much, right? And our air quality improved by 40% over that two months. Bad air quality can lead to asthma, heart attack, stroke, lung cancer, and its impact is worse in communities of color. The report finds people of color are 39% more likely to live in an area with failing pollution grades. That data is backed up by this, the purple air map, 30 spots in Indy neighborhoods tracking air quality in real time. So we put sensor, a sensor network to answer the question of whether, whether low-income communities and communities of color have poor air quality, and in fact, they do. So how can we make it better? Experts say cities and lawmakers have a role, better infrastructure, more urban forests to clean the air, but you can do something too. Maybe consider a hybrid or even electric. Um, bike, bike around more, walk around more, take public transit. Um, these are all things that I try to embrace myself, knowing that I'm only one tiny little cog in this big engine, but if enough tiny cogs do it, it'll actually improve the city. And improve the air we breathe. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. You can find a link to the results of the study for other counties around central Indiana right now. We've posted that for you at WTHR.com.